Lilith emailed me this old school John Hagee sermon, probably from about 2005 or so. And oh my goodness, does it highlight how insane in the membrane he is. Let's listen to him go off on knowledge. We are the generation that has had the knowledge explosion. But all of this knowledge has not improved our society. All of you secular humanists who have been teaching for 40 years that if you educate man, he'll produce paradise. We're the most educated nation on the face of the earth. And we're far from living in paradise. Why? Listen to this very closely. Because knowledge without God only produces an intellectual barbarian. Knowledge without God only produces an intellectual barbarian. Hitler's Nazis threw Jewish children into the ovens alive without pain of conscience. Many of them had PhDs. They were educated barbarians, brilliant minds with a heart of stone. We are that generation that the Bible was saying is ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. We in these United States murder our children under the banner of pro-choice. Where do I begin? He has to throw in a jab at abortion at the end there. So we got knowledge, Nazis, and abortion, because of course Nazis are equal to abortion. <laughs> Women's reproductive rights, that's equal to the Nazis. And to Adolf Hitler, and the Gestapo, and the SS, just all around, you know. Taking the morning after pill. <laughs> Using condoms. Getting a, an early abortion. A weekend, right? Oh, that's the same as uh, the Nazis. Oh, you're a Nazi. You got you got an abortion. That's a, you're a Nazi. Yeah, what a what a brilliant way of thinking there, John. But look at all of his points. Uh, no, he he actually said knowledge hasn't improved society. Really, really. Um, I believe when you're sick and you go to the hospital or the doctor, you disagree with that. You know, when you get a vaccine and then you don't get measles or rubella and die. When you uh, take penicillin, when you have some sort of infection or disease and it works and you get better. Fuck, when you take Advil for a headache or Pepto-Bismol when your stomach hurts. That is fucking amazing. Have you ever gotten out of surgery and not taken your Vicodin or your Percocet or what they gave you? And you're immediately in the world's most excruciating pain where it feels like you're in hell? Yeah. That Percocet or Vicodin or Oxy or whatever, uh, that would be knowledge. That would be science that led to figuring out what these things do in medical situations, okay? And not only that, the, all the technology, how I'm talking to you guys right now on the radio and on YouTube and everything, okay, this is all technology is from knowledge. It's from educating ourselves. It's from figuring out how shit works. And it goes on and on, man. I mean, everything in an industrial society, we're, uh, electricity, the fucking TV, like all these things from inventors who had a thirst for knowledge and figuring things out and science and all that stuff. The idea that knowledge has an improved society is legitimately one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. And then he said, well, look, education doesn't equal a paradise. Yes, that's true, but nothing equals a paradise. I've often said this uh, on the show and I've tweeted it out before. It's one of uh, my own silly quotes that I think sounds good, apparently nobody else does. I say, I don't believe in a utopia, but I believe in close to a utopia. So I don't think we could get there, but we could get close. And you know how we're going to do it? Fucking education is like thing number one. Okay? That's like the most important thing. And by the way, look at the places in the world that are the most educated, that care most about education, that put an onus on that, they by far and away have the best systems. But usually, you know, it, Norway, Denmark, Iceland, Sweden, Finland, all these other places, they're the Scandinavian region, the Nordic region of the world. They care deeply about education. They have the best healthcare systems in the world, the strongest middle class, uh, highest uh, on the happiness index, so that they claim to be the most happy. I mean, it just goes on and on, man. Best social safety net programs. So education is extremely important. But the dumbest point of all, well, knowledge without God equals Nazism. Don't you get it? If you read a lot of books and you educate yourself and you go to school, clearly you'll become a Nazi. Obviously. That's so stupid, man. 
just one fact demolishes that entire argument. 95% of the population in Nazi Germany were Christian. 95% were Christian. So clearly, you can see how knowledge without God leads to Nazism. That's funny, because it would appear to me, based on the facts, that knowledge, I don't even know why you think the Nazis were knowledgeable, that uh, apparently with a 95% Christian population, that can lead to Nazism, because it did.